What's up, YouTube? So here I have a, a 17 um, pound Charleston gray. I think it was 17.4 pounds. All right. Um, I guess I can point out the ripening signs. So here you can see the rib, the rib formation. You can see the umbilical was sunken in. That doesn't matter too much. What you really want to look for is the uh, the umbilical actually starting to uh, have some dry marks showing. If it has dry marks showing, it'll most likely be sunken in also. But um, this is a turnaround of it. And you can see the ribs along the ribs that, that start from the beginning of the melon. They run all the way back to the blossom end of the, of the melon. And here we have a nice creamy yellow bottom on it. And this one was harvested a few days ago. And with Charleston Gray also, you'll notice the uh, you'll notice the watermelon actually begins green. So I, I I highly assume that's where the name Charleston Gray originates from. I haven't looked it up to 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 know for sure. All right, so I'll cut it open now. Popping. <laughs> here we have a Charleston Gray, guys. It's aromatic. Okay. Let's see if I can sit this without it, without it rolling. Red flesh. Mm. Very sweet. Very sweet. When I say very sweet, it, it, it's actually sweet. Mm. Has a knife. Has a nice, uh, soft quality to the flesh. It's not uh, as crisp as the cow sweet. But this is a this is a beautiful melon, guys. This is a very beautiful melon. All right. So that's my Charleston Gray update. And I have a much larger one that I harvested earlier today. Now I'll be doing a comparison video on with the uh, the largest crimson sweet that I harvested from my patch. All right. That's my update for today, guys. Thank you.